hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to look at a particular vector analysis to call them offer a vector analysis tool um, used in gis right and the tool or let's say the software the gis software we are going to use on this video is qgis so um there are different literatures online that um, talks about buffer we are going to leave them um, links to some of those um, literatures on the description section of this particular video where you can actually what um read it up right good so we have a um, raster and vector buffering and then um, buffers in vector js are generated around points lines and polygons a point buffer is a zone that encompasses the area around the point so let's say you have a point and you want to know the area that encompasses that point given a particular distance right it now serves as a should i call it a radius of coverage or something right good so there are different applications there are different applications they are good now you see there are at least ten thousand sorry use one thousand js applications that uses buffer in um, geospatial analysis here are some examples of proximity analysis using the buffer tool right good so now insurance um is on the right has check if your resident is within a specified distance of a fire hydrant so let's say there are different um, public fire hydrants that are installed or maybe your insurance um, company um, installed some of those hydrants and you uh, they are trying to confirm if your house or maybe your residence is actually within a specified distance so in case of emergency you can easily reach out to maybe those um, those hydrants and try to maybe manage the situation maybe there's a spill somewhere and then you're trying to determine the radius that the spill has to cover so that you can evacuate the people that are staying there you know, so there are different applications of what there are different applications of buffer or maybe you are in a particular location like um, the the Lucial um, Stadium for yeah one of the World Cup stadiums right good that um, is actually in Qatar so you want to know maybe at um, one one is it one thousand yeah one thousand meters that's about one kilometer you want to know what are the facilities around there maybe the hotels maybe the lounges maybe the what what else maybe the, the gyms you know you just want to know some of those facilities that are around the Lucial Stadium maybe by a distance of what um one one thousand meters or let's say one kilometer right so the applications of buffer uh, is actually animals and you can actually check them out online however we are going to use um this example on this video we have um we have the World Cup um, stadiums yeah we have the shape files of the World Cup stadiums and we have one in projected and we have another one in geographic right good now one thing about um using buffers in um, gis or let's say qgis is that your data set which could either be your points your line or your polygon should be or yeah should be in a projected coordinate reference system because if you use the geographic uh, coordinate reference system you would have encounter an error message so for this video we have um our base map we are using the big map we have them um, the lucial because we've actually extracted only the lucial stadium right so you can see the lucial stadium there let's um, label it so that um, it can be more visible right good so that's the lucial stadium and we have a ship file a geographic um, a ship file that uses or that's in the geographic coordinate reference system and we also have a ship file that is remote in the projected um, coordinate reference system right good so we are going to use the buffer tool that is a vector analysis tool right we are going to use that buffer tool to try to know within one kilometer that's about 1000 meters or maybe depending on the the radius you want to specify on the program right good want to know the facilities around there as we've said earlier the applications are enormous so we are now going to come down to vector right good then we go to what um geoprocessing tools and we click on what buffers right all right now you can see the yeah should we call it the buffer window or 
dialog box or yeah you can see the buffer is up right good this algorithm computes the buffer area for all the features in an input layer using a fixed or dynamic distance now they are trying to explain each of the subheadings the segment parameter controls the number of line segments to use to approximate a quarter circle when creating a rounded offset the end cap style parameter controls also when you read through this description it will inform how you use what how you use the buffer how you use the different inputs layer in the buffer to right good so now this is lucia which is actually a point of interest however we are trying to explain something to you that if your your data is in a um, projected or maybe geographic um, crs there is actually some comments now this lucia is actually in what in um, projected i think we need to just confirm that before we move now for us to confirm that just um, right click and then we go to properties right all right so for this um lucia you can actually see the crs the method is what um, utm which is actually projected the unit is actually in meters and then you can see the name is um, zone 39 right good wjct4 slash utm zone 39 that's for the lucia which are point of interest and remember we told you that there is another shape file that is actually in what in um, geographic so let's confirm that now you would actually get a better picture of why it should either be in a projected or geographic when we get back to the buffer tool right now for this other um for this other layer which is the wcg you can see the unit actually geographic uses um, um latitude and longitude for coordinates and the method is lat long geodetic alias and then you can see the name wjc for right good so this is geographic now let's go back to our buffer so we come to what vector and go to what geoprocessing tools and we click on buffer good so since we have selected the world cup geo you can see this particular i call it warning message that distance is in geographic degrees consider projecting to a projected local coordinate system for accurate results which means when you're using your input um, layer that has a crs of um, maybe a geographic um, coordinate reference system right as a geographic um, coordinate reference system then you should consider projecting toward a projected coordinate reference system for a more accurate result so the essence of having all of these is for you to see that if you have yours in geographic you need to reproject it and it's very simple you just click on the it's very simple i think we just Need to show you that you just um, click on the layer you right click you go to export then you see what save features as right good now under the format you use what your s3 shape file then the crs just select what the crs selector good and then you now search for what your projected crs so for this case our projected crs was this you just give it a name and you what you save right good so that's how you can just do it very simply now let's see go back the essence of creating this foundation is for you to be able to understand how the data was processed or maybe how the data was processed or managed up to that point so if you don't have yours in projected you can actually follow that um, very short method to what to project so now let's go to our lucia now we are trying to as we said earlier we are trying to determine um, the we say them 1000 meters right now we are trying to know the facilities that are 1000 meters away or let's say yeah, 1000 meters within 1000 meters radius of this particular stadium it can be a gym it can be some restaurants it can be hotels it can be schools it can be worship centers it can be roads it can be hydrants you know it can be maybe um, health facilities you no know, you just want to know that okay within a space of 1000 meters maybe one kilometer you are able to assess these features right so this will now inform your decision making so this is another great one. this is one of the applications here one of the great applications of what of buffers right so when you go through this um, explanation the segment parameters the end cap the the joint style and then this um, the meter limit parameters 
you would understand how all of these tools work however for the purpose of this video let's just see simply how or let's say what the um, 1000 yeah that's one kilometer covers from what from this um lucial um, lucial stadium right one of the world cup stadium so you just click on run good so we have what we have a buffer layer on a layer panel right good so these are the or let's say this is the coverage this is the coverage of one kilometer so since it's not transparent on our what on our base map we can just decide to make it transparent right so double click and make some editing good now you can see what the area are buffer covers right so you can see there is a street here maybe whatever street it is this should be a particular maybe a main road and you know there are other streets okay we have what the lucial park and ride so we've seen a recreational center that is within one kilometer radius of this world of the stadium so by the time you keep zooming in or maybe depending on the base map we have used no, you can okay good we have what olympic cycling track right good so that's still what within one kilometer radius of what the the um lucial international stadium right let's say the lucial stadium so this is one way you can use what the buffer now the applications are enormous as you saw on the other blog post you have over 1000 applications how you can use what buffer so if there are other social facilities around which you want to benefit from you can use what this particular buffer to to know if they are within that specified distance around you are we together good so now remember that this layer is actually a scratch layer you can see a temporary scratch layer so if you want to save it just what right click on it or just click on it and you can decide what save the what the scratch layer in a particular maybe um, folder you are we want to save it on and you are good to go maybe different format aside shape file but most times we just decide to use what shape file so so far we've been able to show you in a very simple way how you can um reproject yeah how you can reproject from geographic towards to projected and how you can use what the um the buffer tool for yeah as a vector yeah as a vector analysis tool on QGIS right good I've also shown you some um, some let's say blog post on um, how you can use what the buffer. So for this particular post on QGIS, this is actually their official website. There is a particular problem, and the problem is that um, um, let's start off the process by deciding a problem. So for example, you are an estate agent and you are looking for a residential property in the swell them for clients who have the following criteria it needs to be in that particular region and it must be within a reasonable driving distance of a school say one kilometer it must be be one thousand yeah is it one meter squared in area and also these, these are the criteria right good and you are to determine let's say locate or yeah you have to find out all of these um you have to find out that particular building or those buildings for them to maybe choose from so the data you need and the workflow maybe by the time you come through to this um, official qgis website you can see how the workflow went and you can follow it through to get a better picture of what how the buffer tool works right but so thanks for coming to class we hope we've shown you how you can um, use the the buffer tool which is actually what a vector yeah a vector analysis tool so thanks for coming to class. We hope to see you on our next video. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing. Prepare well for the World Cup. And have a very good time. Bye.